Hi, my name is Hamid. I'm a certified instructor at ASM Education Center. This is our homepage, asme.com. At the top, you're going to see information technology. Basically, here we offer all the courses Amazon, Cisco. If you go to Amazon classes, we offer a bunch of classes. We offer cloud practitioner, we offer social architecture, we offer developer, CISOS, we offer professional, DevOps, security, and specialty. Okay. And also on top of our homepage, we have blogs. If you come down, we have Amazon AWS blogs. There's two also. When you go there, you see all our blogs. So everything I'm doing that right now is going to show up. So today what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about that Amazon AWS EBS backup via Lambda and CloudWatch. So what does that mean? The goal is to backup my EBS volume via Amazon <laughs> Lambda and CloudWatch. We will do it two ways. So we're going to do it two ways, okay? One way is done in one minute interval using Lambda function, and other one using CloudWatch five minute intervals, okay? Right now I have a two EC2 machine and I have two volume on the left side, okay? Now when I go to the left side and snapshot, I see I don't nothing, see nothing. So I'm going to minimize this. I go to my machine right here. Sorry about that. I go to my EC2. I have two running instances right now here. Okay. I have Linux one, Linux two. When I go left side I go to volume I see my volume right here I have two volume right here okay it's coming up actually I'm at snapshot there's nothing in the snapshot on the volume I have two volume so the idea is instead of using manual the snapshot like of the machine instead of I go to EC2 instead of I go to EC2 one by one manually that means instead of doing here Instead of go Linux one, then action, then take image, create image. In order to manually, I want to do Lambda. And in order to Lambda, we're going to use uh, CloudWatch. Now, in order to look at my notes right now, in order to create a function under Lambda, I need to create a role. And in order to create a role, I need to create a policy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to IAM on the left side and create a policy. Then I click JSON and I copy paste these copy in my notes so I'm going to copy paste all of this inside that and when it comes down then I'm going to create a policy and call that backup EC2 policy so let me go back to the console again I go I am in the top okay on the left side we have something called what policy I go to policy okay I go to policy and I create a policy okay I call it JSON and what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy all of this right here. This is what I have in my notes. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to delete this and paste that. I'm going to review policy. I'm going to give a name. Backup EC2 policy. Then I give today's date. So that way it's easier to find that. Okay? As you see, those, the, all of this is a lot of CloudWatch, CloudSource, Lock, EC2, IAM, and Lambda. Okay, full access, create policy. After creating policy, then what I have to do, I have to go create what? Roles. So here's my notice. Okay. So go to the left side and pick. Then I have to Lambda, then click permission. Then, so on the left side, go to the role. On the left side, pick Lambda, then click permission. Then search for the policy create above. So that's what I'm going to do right now again. So I'm going to roll right now, which is right here. Create role. I'm going to pick what? Lambda, next permission. Then I'm going to search for policy. The one I just did, uh, EC2. I got a backup right here. Backup EC125. I'm going to click this. Tag. We are going to put tag review. I'm going to give a name. EC2 backup underscore roll underscore 125 2020. So I'm going to pick up my role, okay? Create role. So we need to do these two parts first, okay? Again, if I type in backup under roll, I can see EC2 backup role. So we have already that, okay? All right, that's for that part. The next thing I want to do in my notes. Okay, so I give a name to okay. Now I go to Lambda and use above rule. When I go to Lambda, I want to give a name backup EC2. I'm going to choose runtime Python 3.6. I pick 
choose existing rule, then I choose backup in EC2, then I create a function. Okay, so let's go to Lambda right now. So this is Lambda on the top. I already shortcut right here. This is Lambda right here. I'm going to say there's nothing here. I'm going to say create a function. Okay. I'm going to pick from where? Scratch right here. I'm going to call it what? EC2 backup lambda underscore today is it 125 20 20 okay I come down again I'm gonna pick what from scratch I can do one or two I want to scratch I'm gonna put what Python see I have different languages but I want to pick which one Python 3.6 click that choose or create existing role click here you're gonna say what existing role then I'm gonna pick the role that I pick I create that right here create a what function okay as it does a function you're gonna see the function right here eventually we have to pay something now there's a left side so a trigger that we need to have that okay so right now when I click this guy there's something here is missing so I have to put some code here so let's go back to my notes right now on the next page you see on the right side what is showing this is from policy now I go copy paste this function inside and make sure save so I'm going to copy this all of that from here all of that, then I'm going to show what this function does. This code again, who does this code? The program at the coders. Control C, I go back to here and I delete everything, backspace that, and control V. So, what that does import JSON, import both of three, then I come down as you see that total EBS. We're going to do looping, then you're going to do what? Create a snapshot of all the volume on the region, all the volume, okay. I come down at the top I'm going to what save that okay so when I go here it says that success update and function of that so I have that part now what I have to do I have to trigger again there's two kind of triggers I can do from inside the lambda I, I, I can go on I can go out the clicker go from what right here cloud launch events I can do through here or I can go from where outside to cloud wash that's what my note says I look at my notes on the left side you see triggers in order to trigger I can do cloud wash first later I'll do another way then I click it so uh, right now I'll go to cloud wash and create rule this one click a schedule and call, choose five minutes then click on lambda function then I'm gonna give a name backup EC2, ec2 five minutes so what I'm gonna do instead of this I'm gonna go to where cloud wash right here on the left side, I have a role right here. I'm going to create a role. Okay. I'm going to schedule. I'm going to put what? Five minutes right here. Then I'm going to add the target. I'm going to pick a lambda. I can do SNS all that. I'm going to pick lambda. Then I'll pick my lambda, which I did that. Configure that. Now I'm going to call it what? EC2 backup. Five minutes. That's the name I want to give. Make sure enable and create that. Okay, so this is already done that. Now, if I go back to Lambda, if I go back to here, if I click here, or if I refresh this gentleman, I'm going to refresh this Lambda, then you're going to see that I already have a, a cloud watch right here. When I select this, it's going to show every five minutes, wait five minutes, okay? So look at my notes. Again, schedule it and give it a name. Now I go back to Lambda function. On the left side, you will see the cloud as one of the triggers, okay? Which you click on it and you see five minutes in total. That's why I did that. So I go on the left side, I click here. See, when I click here, it says, when I click here, it shows this arrow right here. It's every what? Five minutes, okay? So what's going to happen? Now, when I go to a snapshot, I will see four of these. It was more than five minutes. Now, I will disable the trigger and I will do the snapshot. Then I'll configure the trigger within the inside of the Lambda function. So what I'm saying that I go back to EC2 right now. Okay. I go that to snapshot. See, now I already got what? Two snapshots. It starts snapshot, okay? After five minutes, this is what the time is 541 right here. After 545, then I'm gonna see what two more what snapshot. So every five minutes I'm gonna have a snapshot. Okay, so let's just wait. Remember that there's two ways to do that. 
on the lambda right here sorry about that let me go back to function I'll go back to here so one way of doing that go put the trigger I do cloud watch I did from I went outside I did inside the what cloud watch I did through here okay when I, when I click here you see that is what five minutes okay so I'm gonna let this finish then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna enable this disable that so I can do it from inside here so let's go back to EC2 if I click refresh right here okay it's, it's not five minutes comes up so we just have to wait this five minutes comes up okay so let's review so far what we've done in order to do that first what you have to do you have to create what a policy you have to create what a custom policy okay after you create a policy you have to create what a role you have to pick lambda and attach to that one then after that you have that then you're going to go to where lambda and create and give the name and choose python 3.6 and pick existing role and pick this role on next page you see all of this and then you copy paste this code right here in the lambda so let me show you right now so I'm the right now lambda here when I highlight this guy right here see this arrow I go down you copy paste this code here okay again it's import json bot info port borrow tree and so on okay here's sitting variable to loop around total ebs and all of that stuff okay this notes is going to provide to you after that then you need what trigger you have to trigger again there's two ways you can do it you can do inside here or go outside so let's go back to ec2 let's see if i have any more snapshot okay you see two snapshot it's not five minutes yet you just have to wait more five minutes to comes up okay so this is the first snapshot 541 it's 545 is okay five one more minute i should see what snapshot so let's just wait this shows up okay then after it's finished what i'm going to do i'm going to stop these guys i'm going to delete these then i'm going to go to lambda and i'm going to disable this then i'm going to run the what trigger from inside that so that way you understand much much better again remember there's two ways to do this okay so let me go back to ec2 snapshot i click refresh Okay, not yet. You just have to wait one more minute because this was what 41 and 545 is 46 now. Let's see what what time was that exactly? 31 seconds. So we just have to wait. Just 30 more seconds. It should do that. Okay, let's just wait. we wait this comes up all right see now one's coming up so it's looking good okay second one's coming so as you see if I put a description that right see that these two guys is what right after what after what five minutes see that five minutes okay all right so what I'm going to do back to my notes right here, I'm right here now, okay? Again, when I go back to snatch, I see all the force, it was more than five minutes. Now I would disable the triggers and I delete the snapshot, then I configure trigger within inside the lambda function. So let me go to back to lambda function right now, I go back to lambda right here. This is my trigger, I'm going to click what? Disable, disable means it's not run it. Save. So right now it says what? Saving and is what? Disable, okay? Then I go back to my snapshot. I'm going to delete all of this what? Snapshot which is finished, okay? Why is that? Because I'm going to do another one. Action and what? Delete, okay? So what we're going to do now, okay? Now we create a trigger inside the Lambda and I will pick CloudWatch I click rule as we see that we have rule from last day then you make sure you click click new rule and give the rule name what one minutes backup 
then give description this back up every one minute then click expression make sure you have to type this exactly i'm going to copy this Control c so go back to here i go back to my lambda function right here right here i'm going to add trigger now here again what i want to do on the cloud watch event okay now when you do this if you click here we already have this you want to create new rule create new rule rule name it says what backup underscore one minutes okay rule creation then said this okay this will up every one what minutes okay I come down now here sketch expression you gotta be careful you gotta type this rate colon open parenthesis one minute or one minute or five minutes or one day or you can cron expression okay again this is very important make sure you type correct because if I type in something else like rate something see it doesn't work you gotta type exactly what I'm typing right there okay then we're gonna add right adding right now now if I click here I have what two I have two events one is disabled that was a five minutes and this is what one minute okay so let's go back to your snapshot a quick refresh I did that one now this is coming up after one minute we're going to see all of this again repeated again okay so every minute you're going to have what you're going to have what this okay let's look at my notes Make sure you enable it and add. Now you see two next to CloudWatch event. That's why I set that right here. This is right here. You see this number two here, right here, number two. Okay. Okay. And you will see one enable, one is disabled, which we saw what? One enable, one disabled. Okay. If you go to CloudWatch, you see, see this new two also. So let's go back to CloudWatch. Oops, sorry, but that, not that one. I go to here, I go to cloud watch. Now if I go to rules, okay. If I click refresh, same rule I did inside the lambda is gonna show up what here. See one minute interval, okay? Now I go back again to my notes. Okay. Now you go to cloud watch, you see same thing. Now make sure you disable the trigger cup. Now you go to and when you go to all logs and you see that has been created for you. So let's go to go. Let's check it out. Go to snapshot. If I click refresh, now look at that. It's a description. Every minute you're gonna have what? More what? Lambda. So this is look at the time wise. 50, 49, 50, 40. Exactly one minute. Every one minute you're gonna have a snapshot. Right. These two correspond to one machine, and these two correspond to another machine. Remember, we have two machines. Okay, so that does it. Now, if you have any question, any comment, give us a call back. This is our homepage is asmed.com. Okay. Now, again, if I go back, again, if you go back to the blogs, you go see Amazon AWS. Okay. Now, if you go back to here, also, if you go down, 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 I have another lambda, which how to write lambda to stop the what? EC2 right here. So we have another lambda that you can watch that to. Again, you're going to use Boto 3, all of that, the codes right here, the, the everything is here step by step. We use a, we're going to use a what? Crown, crown expression. You do all of this, and this document is from Christ, and this is the video is, okay? So it was very, thank you so much. If you have question, comment, give us a call back. You got number 301-984-7400. Thank you. Have a good day.